My name is Dr. Maria Musaji. I'm a consultant ophthalmologist at Moorfields Eye Hospital and Great Ormond Street Hospital for Children. A lot of my research starts in the clinic when I see a patient with a rare blinding genetic eye disease. I take a blood sample and I send that for genetic testing. And if a gene comes back as having a mutation in it, I then take that information to the laboratory and I use various models to try to understand how that gene causes the disease. So two main models that I work with, firstly are zebrafish. Zebrafish lay their eggs and they're fertilized in the water. The zebrafish embryo is clear and transparent for the first three to four days of its life. This allows us to look at organs, especially the eye, in great detail. And they share about 70% of their genes with humans. So often, if you have a disease that causes a, a particular eye condition in humans, we can often replicate that in our zebrafish models. The second model that I use is stem cell technology, where we can actually grow very early eye cups in a dish that have a, a three-layered structure of a very early developing eye, and you actually start to see the cells differentiating into the specific cells that you see in the retina. But the difficulty of actually growing a full eyeball is that there are three different embryological cell types that contribute to the formation of an eye. The retina comes from one particular type of cell type and that's why we can potentially successfully grow that. But having other parts that contribute to, for example, the front part of the eye, that all comes from a different type of embryonic origin. And so it's now trying to find out how we can potentially intermingle the cells of different embryonic origins so that they signal together with each other to then generate a whole eye and we're, we're not really there yet but we are more likely to be able to transplant a donor eye by learning how to connect the optic nerve in, in a safe and appropriate way so that we can take a healthy eye and connect the optic nerve and then signals pass to the brain and that helps them to see um, rather than grow an entire eye that could be transplanted. However, another type of technology we are thinking about is if you had a particular cell layer that was damaged in the eye, we could take the cells from the patient and by changing the mutation back to normal, you are essentially then having healthy patient cells, their own cells, that you could inject back. And because they are the patient's own cells, it would uh, reduce any chance of rejection. It may help them integrate with the other cells in a more appropriate manner. So these are all uh, things that we're looking at doing in the future.